Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, your host of the most, as always, Francois878. And welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. In today's episode, I've got a build for you for the Ock and Brunt, the new axe and shield combo introduced in update 17. Uh, personally, I really, really love the uh, sword and shield or axe and shield weapons. They just, they feel right to me. I, I'm not sure why. I, maybe it's because back in the day uh, I played a lot of Soul Calibur as Cassandra and Sophitia. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. A little fun fact about me. I used to love Soul Calibur before they bastardized the series. But that's a, that's a topic for another video entirely. <laughs> a couple of the base stats for this weapon are it's going to be dealing 50 uh, physical damage, mostly in Slash. Uh, so you'll be dealing uh, good damage against infested enemies, but corpus enemies and grenier enemies will have a little bit of an advantage with their shields and their armor. Uh, your attack speed is .8333, which is a little lower than you know what I would like in a normal melee weapon that I would carry around with me a lot, but uh, because this weapon is also basically going to be a berserker crit build it we can kind of fix that it's not so much of a problem uh, now that being said it's crit chance and crit multiplier are 20 percent and uh, 2.0 respectively uh, which means this weapon it can very easily uh, take a um, the true steel and organ shatter mods uh, in order to increase your crit chance and crit damage. Now here's the build right here. I've got point strike and spoiled strike on. I, I know what you guys are thinking. Spoiled strike is kind of counterintuitive because the attack speed is already so low, but you really do need that extra 100% damage to uh, make this weapon viable. Next we have organ shatter and true steel. Those are going to up your uh, crit chance and your crit damage to 32% chance to crit and 3.8 times crit damage, which makes this weapon viable at higher levels. Uh, of course, the next two mods are your Fury and your Berserker. Those are going to be for just straight up attack speed. Uh, the more crits you're hitting, the higher your attack speed is going to be, which you absolutely need uh, to make this weapon even remotely usable at higher levels. Uh, as far as the last two mods, I went with two dual stat uh, elemental damage and status chance mods. The status, the base status chance for this weapon is only 10%. Uh, so even with those two, you're only going to get maybe maybe 22%. Uh, but I still found that I'm hitting status effects decently often. It's again, it, it leaves a little bit uh, um, to be desired as far as damage goes, as well as other uh, factors. But the Akenbrunt look cool. And they feel good when you use them, and they're they're just a lot of fun. Uh, now the particular stance mod that I used uh, for this build is the Eleventh Storm. Uh, I did not have the final uh, Harbinger at this point. That's a tough it's a tough word to say. Uh, so, you, however, both mods have the same polarity. So if you have the final Harbinger, you can also put that on with. Uh, no change at all to that build. Uh, now that build is also a zero form a mod. As long as you have either Eleventh Storm or the Final Harbinger, uh, you can uh, make that build no problem. And that's that's something I really enjoy about most melee weapons that they've been releasing. As long as you have the stance for the melee weapon, you usually almost never have to uh, form it, or at most you have to form it once just to uh, you know get the higher <laughs> the higher damage elemental mods on. Uh, but overall, this weapon looks cool. Uh, it, it is not going to function well at higher levels. Um, I, I would say the damage for the crits pitter-patter out at around level 45 or 50 enemies. Um, I was having definite trouble on uh, Ceres, uh, as you can see here with my Nyx. 
Uh, I was definitely having to swing more times than I thought was really going to uh, be necessary. Uh, but it, it's not at all a bad weapon, and it's definitely a cool-looking weapon, and you'll have fun with it. Uh, there's not nearly enough uh, sword and shield or X and shield weapons out right now, as there's only two. So I, I'm really excited uh, to have used the Akenbrunt, and uh, you know I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Uh, it's 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 a it's a pretty good build. Uh, the only thing. You know, if you guys want to use the 90% elemental damage mods instead of the dual stat mods, you'll more than likely have to form of this weapon a couple of times. Uh, but you'll be getting more uh, base damage out of it, a little bit more base damage out of it. So, that's really the only recommend recommendation I can make as far as a change uh, to the build. Or, you know, if you guys want to take out... Uh, Organ Shatter, 20% uh, crit chance may be enough to get Berserker to trigger regularly, but I like to have the extra, I just had, like to have that extra little uh, bump to guarantee it. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching, I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Warframe content coming soon. This has been your host of the most, as always, Francois878, signing off.